Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. Always excited. I'm always acting crazy with you guys because I'm comfortable with you guys and I want to teach you guys something. So today's video, guys, is all about Android. Yes, uh, I used to have an Android phone and uh, yes, I converted to an iPhone, you know. <sighs> shame of me, shame of me. But again, my company bought it. And why not? It's free, a free bill. I don't have to pay for my Android boy, so whatever. But there's times that I do have to support Android devices. And believe it or not, I'm going to show you guys how to install Android in VirtualBox. Now, VirtualBox is free, and I'm going to provide you guys all the links so you guys can test this out. Now, uh, you go to virtualbox.org, go to the download section, download the latest one, which is 4.2.12. And I'm also going to provide at the description part the link to get the Android iOS uh, so you guys can start testing that stuff out. So let's get started because I'm excited. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our virtual box up. We want to create a new virtual machine. So we're going to click on new and we're going to give it a name. For me, I'm going to give it BJ Android. Now the type is going to be Linux. The version type, you got to make sure that you're doing a Linux 2.6. Okay. Now make sure it's 2.6 and it doesn't have 2.6 64-bit. Uh, unfortunately, the Android is only 86-bit. I haven't seen the 64-bit as of yet, so keep that in mind. Back to this, we're gonna hit next. Uh, the standard memory size is only 256, but if you guys want to get kind of crazy, you could give it more. I'm gonna leave it as 256 megabytes, and I'm gonna hit next. Now we need to create a virtual hard disk. Now I'm gonna create one. And it's up to you. Uh, I I am more of a VHD person. The only reason I like using VHDs, uh, virtual hard disk, because I can actually take that VHD and maybe customize it and put it into an MDT server, or I could put it into Hyper V, which is awesome. Uh, a VMDK would be awesome if you're using VM Workstation, and uh, if you're doing parallels in your Mac, you could do HDD. I am gonna keep it simple and do what I do best is VHD. Uh, you can keep it as a VDI. VDI is the standard uh, image format for VirtualBox. And uh, we're going to do VHD, hit next. Uh, it's a dynamically accolated, so I'm going to keep it like that, hit next. And tell it where you want it to be dropped. Uh, I'm keeping all my virtual machines inside my D drive, so I'm going to just keep everything standard. The size of the storage, uh, you don't need a huge, don't really need a huge, it's, it's just like a tablet. So it's up to 8 gigs or 16. I'm going to leave it as 8 gigs. Create. And we're almost done. Now, hopefully you guys went to the link and downloaded the iOS. The iOS is real small. It shouldn't take more than 5 minutes. And you want to go into settings within the virtual machine. And you want to go to storage. And within storage, you want to go into your, uh, your little CD VARM right here. And you want to locate that Android ISO that you downloaded. For example, you go choose a virtual CD, go into your downloads, and there it goes. Press OK. And let's start this bad boy up. Most likely, you're going to get a lot of these little boxes right here about the integration. So press OK, and it's going to start up. It starts up pretty fast. Uh, but make sure you pick something right away because you only have a minute to choose. And uh, by default, it's going to try to run without the installation. So that means you could try it out before installing it into your virtual machine. But this video is I'm showing you guys how to install it to keep it. You don't have the CD anymore. So I picked the last option, hit enter. And it's going to go through its little thing. Uh, you have to create a partition first. Okay. So the way that you create a partition is you just click OK. You want to create a modify partition. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to new. You want to create a new partition. It's going to be a primary. It's going to do its thing. Hit enter. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to write to it. And believe it or not, you got to actually type yes and hit enter. It's going to write to the partition table to the disk, which is awesome. And once that's completed, you act, you guys can actually quit, which is pretty fast because again, it's only eight gigs. It's a small OS, and we're going to quit. When you go back, you're going to see your new partition, which is what we just created. We're going to hit OK. Now, 
The format type that you want to do in your file system is actually an extensive 3, ext3. That's the one that you want. That's the way that you want to format it. We're going to hit OK. Uh, yes on this because you do want to format it. Okay. Again, it's real small, so you guys shouldn't go crazy on this. Uh, it's not one of those long things. Like If you have a slow machine, yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, when you get to the this portion right here for the bootloader, yes, you want to hit yes and hit yes again. And it's gonna do its thing. And we're back. Yes, we are back, guys. Uh, up to this point, it has successfully installed, which is awesome. You can either run Androids 86 on the spot or reboot. So uh, what I normally would do is I would go into devices and just remove the disk. And oh, I can't force it because it's still being used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reboot and go up top and make sure you remove the disk because if you don't remove it you're gonna it's gonna boot to the CD so I'm gonna just do a reset on the virtual machine and once I do the reset remember I don't have the CD on and it's gonna give me the two options and the first one by default is the test one is gonna boot itself directly into our Android OS virtual machine how awesome is that now once it loads up it's gonna load up as and it's gonna look and feel just like an Android device, which is pretty cool, like a like a tablet. Uh, with every tablet or Android phone that you get, you have to set it up. So most likely, when you're setting this thing up, you need to have a Gmail personal account. Again, uh, Android does work with Google; they're like buddies. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, so you guys have to set that up. Uh, there is a portion that I gotta tell you guys to skip, and that is the Wi-Fi section, because again. Uh, it needs to integrate itself with your machine, the machine that's hosting the virtual machine. Now, when you get to this point, as you can see my little mouse, when I click on it, I can't see my mouse inside the virtual machine. So what you want to do is go to machine and disable the mouse integration. Once you do that and you click inside of it, you should see your mouse inside your virtual machine, which is pretty cool because then you're able to do whatever you need to do. I'm going to hit start. And once it hits starts, it's gonna say just a second. It really doesn't take a second, so I guess you know, go get a cup of coffee and come back because eventually it takes a while. And we're back again. So when you, once you get to the portion right here that says select Wi-Fi, remember you guys really want to skip this part because your virtual machine is being hosted on whatever physical machine that you have it in. So you want to skip this part right here. And you may have incur extra carrier charge. Ha <laughs> ha! This is so funny. Uh, yeah, skip anyway. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, again, you, you got a Google account. Do you have a, a Google account if you use Google? Answer yes. Yes, I do have one. Uh, and I am going to sign in with my BJ Tech News. How awesome is that? Actually, I'm just going to sign in with my other account. I have so many accounts. It's crazy. Uh, let's use this. There it goes. And uh, we're going to hit to next. And by signing, you're agreeing to Google's term and services. Oh my God, this brings back memories when I have my little uh, tablet with me. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's press OK. And it's signing in. Couldn't sign in. Your username and password does not match. Uh, let's try again. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, spelled it wrong. That's why. I spelled it wrong. Make sure you spell your email right, guys. Because if you don't, it's not going to work. Let's do this one more time. See if it signs in. And we are signed in. Awesome. I don't want to join Google Plus now. So I'm going to hit not now. Uh, no, not now. And back up. Restore Google Accounts, Tablets, Keeps. Okay, I keep that. Whatever. Restoring. Uh, and well, that's pretty cool. So that means if I'd have used my BJ Tech News account, I'd have got all my settings from my old account. That'd have been pretty awesome. But whatever. Uh, we're gonna hit next. I just want to get to the home screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, just a second. It's setting up. Setup is complete. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. Are you guys excited? Because. This is exciting. Let me see if I can expand this and see if let me see view. 
switch to scale mode, actual window size. I can't. Okay, whatever. Uh, to see all your apps, touch the circle, which I'm assuming is this little guy over here. Oh, what happened? Ah! There it goes. Lost control of the mouse. But I'm okay. Choose some apps to add an app to the home and whatever, whatever. That's pretty cool. Well, that's about it, guys. I'm going to take some time and start playing around with this because this is pretty exciting. I'm actually going to deploy this at my job site because I do have a lot of Android devices. Uh, and I do have to troubleshoot sometimes. So this is the best environment to actually test apps out. And then, you know... Make sure they're working before you tell a user, hey, download it because it's great and it's fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, uh, at the very bottom of this video, uh, there's the description part. I will have the link to download the Android iOS. Uh, oh, ISO, sorry. And also the link to download the uh, VirtualBox. And uh, please leave comments below. If you, what, I want to know what you guys think about this. This is I think this is pretty cool. This is pretty exciting to me. Uh, uh, hopefully I catch you guys in the next video, and I catch you later. Peace out.